method of food production. One, not for the casual prepper. This is the Cadillac of preps. This is aquaponics. Right here we have some lettuce. I have some basil growing. I also have some cucumbers growing. Cantaloupe. I have some onions. I have some celery. I have Swiss chard back here. In aquaponics systems, fish and plants are grown together in a closed environment where the fish waste is converted into food for the plants. The fish excrete waste and ammonia into the water. That water is pumped into the grow beds where bacteria convert the waste into nitrates, which the plants use as fertilizer. As the plants use the nitrates, they filter the water, which is then sent back to the fish tanks, completing the circle. The water gets pumped from the fish tanks, comes in here, and this one trough up here, we've got water hyacinth, and in here, we've got duckweed. They uh, both filter out the fish waste, the ammonia, nitrates, and so forth that the fish produce. The fish can eat it. It's a high protein source, and if hard times come, I can eat it too. It actually doesn't taste too bad. Kind of like lettuce. Aquaponic systems rely on creating a delicate balance of nutrients, which is a challenge to maintain, even for experienced preppers. Allen's system took one year to set up and still requires daily maintenance. It's not easy. There's, there's a fair amount of work to it. It's a biological living system. And if you get something out of kilter, you're going to have some dead fish. You got to plan on being a fish murderer. You're going to kill some fish to, before you learn the ropes. In 2011, Alan raised more than 200 pounds of fish. I've got enough food to feed myself and immediate family for an excess of two years. We do the tilapia because the tilapia are pretty easy to grow. They grow fast, they're prolific breeders, and they taste fairly decent. They don't have a real strong fishy taste naturally. Yeah, I've got about 140 of them. There we go. That one's a little fighter. This one could be dinner tonight. Advocates of aquaponics say that by recirculating water, it uses 95% less water than traditional farming. But to have enough for himself, his wife, two children, and all his fish after doomsday, Alan's been banking a reserve supply. The poop hits the fan. I've got 3,000 gallons of water storage capacity now. Across town, Franco believes his aquaponic farm may be the only source of fresh food he, his wife Amy, and their two children will have. If Americans revolt against genetically modified ingredients and the nation's food supply chain collapses. I honestly can't 